The Nanda dynasty ruled in the northern part of the Indian subcontinent during the 4th century BCE, and possibly during the 5th century BCE. The Nandas overthrew the Shayashunaga dynasty in the Magadha region of eastern India, and expanded their empire to include a larger part of northern India. Ancient sources differ considerably regarding the names of the Nanda kings, and the duration of their rule, but based on the Buddhist tradition recorded in the Mahavamsa, they appear to have ruled during circa 345-322 BCE, although some theories date the start of their rule to 5th century BCE. Modern historians generally identify the ruler of the Gangaridae and the Praesii mentioned in ancient Greco-Roman accounts as a Nanda king. The chroniclers of Alexander the Great, who invaded northwestern India during 327-325 BCE, characterize this king as a militarily powerful and prosperous ruler. The prospect of a war against this king led to a mutiny among the soldiers of Alexander, who had to retreat from India without waging a war against him. The Nandas built on the successes of their Haryanka and Shayashunaga predecessors, and instituted a more centralized administration. Ancient sources credit them with amassing great wealth, which was probably a result of introduction of new currency and taxation system. Ancient texts also suggest that the Nandas were unpopular among their subjects because of their excessive taxation, and their general misconduct. The last Nanda king, Dana Nanda, whose name means wealthy Nanda, was overthrown by Chandragupta Maurya, the founder of the Maurya Empire, and the latter's mentor being Chanakya. Origins Both Indian and Greco-Roman traditions characterize the dynasty's founder as of low birth. According to Greek historian Diodorus, Horus told Alexander that the contemporary Nanda king was thought to be the son of a barber. Roman historian Curtius adds that according to Porus, this barber became the former queen's paramour thanks to his attractive looks, treacherously assassinated the then king, usurped the supreme authority by pretending to act as a guardian for the then princes, and later killed the princes. The Jain tradition, as recorded in the Abhashyaka Sutra and Parishta Parvan, corroborates the Greco-Roman accounts, stating that the first Nanda king was the son of a barber. According to the 12th century text Parishta Parvan, the mother of the first Nanda king was a courtesan. However, the text also states that the daughter of the last Nanda king married Chandragupta, because it was customary for Kshatriya girls to choose their husbands, thus, it implies that the Nanda king claimed to be a Kshatriya, that is, a member of the warrior class. The Puranas name the dynasty's founder as Mahapadma, and claim that he was the son of the Shayashunaga king Manandin. However, even these texts hint at the low birth of the Nandas, when they state that Mahapadma's mother belonged to the Shudra class, the lowest of the Vernas. Since the claim of the barber ancestry of the dynasty's founder is attested by two different traditions, Greco-Roman and Jain, it appears to be more reliable than the Puranic claim of Shayashunaga ancestry. The Buddhist tradition calls the Nandas of unknown lineage. According to Mahavamsa, the dynasty's founder was Ugrasenya, who was originally a man of the frontier, he fell into the hands of a gang of robbers, and later became their leader. He later ousted the sons of the Shayashunaga king Kalashoka. K. N. Panikar suggested that the Nandas were the sole Kshatriyas in India at the time of the Mauryas and M. N. Srinivas suggested that the other Kshatriya castes have come into existence through a process of caste mobility from among the lower castes. Regnal Period there is little unanimity among the ancient sources regarding the total duration of the Nanda reign or their regnal period. For example, the Matsya Purana assigns 88 years to the rule of the first Nanda king alone, while some scripts of the Vayu Purana state the total duration of the Nanda rule is 40 years. The 16th century Buddhist scholar Taranatha assigns 29 years to the Nandas. It is difficult to assign precise date for the Nanda and other early dynasties of Magadha. Historians Irfan Habib and Vivekanand Jha date the Nanda rule from circa 344 to 322 BCE, relying on the Sri Lankan Buddhist tradition which states that the Nandas ruled for 22 years. Historian Upinder Singh dates the Nanda rule from 364-345 BCE to 324 BCE, based on the assumption that Gautama Buddha died in circa 486 BCE. According to another theory, based on astronomical calculations, the first Nanda king ascended the throne in 424 BCE. Proponents of this theory also interpret the Hathagumpha inscription to mean that Nandaraja flourished in year 103 of the Mahavara era, that is, in 424 BCE. The 14th-century Jain writer Muryutunga, in his Bichara Shreni, 
states that King Chandra Pradayoda of Avanti died on the same night as the Jain leader Mahavara. He was succeeded by his son Palaka, who ruled for 60 years. After that, the Nandas rose to power at Pataliputra and captured the Avanti capital Ujjdaini. The Nanda rule, spanning the reigns of nine kings, lasted for 155 years, after which the Mauryas came to power. According to the Shvetambara Jain tradition, Mahavira died in 527 BC, which would mean that the Nanda rule, according to Muryutunga's writings, lasted from 467 BCE to 312 BCE. According to historian R. C. Majumdar, while all the chronological details provided by Muryutunga cannot be accepted without corroborative evidence, they cannot be dismissed as entirely unreliable unless contradicted by more reliable sources. Nanda Kings The Buddhist, Jain, and Puranic traditions all state that there were nine Nanda kings, but the sources differ considerably on the names of these kings. According to the Greco-Roman accounts, the Nanda rule spanned two generations. For example, the Roman historian Corsius suggests that the dynasty's founder was a barber-turned-king, and that his son was the dynasty's last king, who was overthrown by Chandragupta. The Greek accounts name only one Nanda king, Agrams or Xandrames, who was a contemporary of Alexander. Agrams may be a Greek transcription of the Sanskrit word Agrasanya. The Puranas, compiled in India in circa 4th century CE, also state that the Nandas ruled for two generations. According to the Puranic tradition, the dynasty's founder was Mahapadma, the Matsya Purana assigns him an incredibly long reign of 88 years, while the Vayu Purana mentions the length of his reign is only 28 years. The Puranas further state that Mahapadma's eight sons ruled in succession after him for a total of 12 years, but name only one of these sons, Sukalpa. A Vayu Purana script names him as Sahalya, which apparently corresponds to the Sahalan mentioned in the Buddhist text of Yavadana. Tundaraja, a commentator on the Vishnu Purana, names one of the Nanda kings as Sarvathasiddhi, and states that his son was Maurya, whose son was Chandragupta Maurya. However, the Puranas themselves do not talk of any relation between the Nanda and the Maurya dynasties.